provide tension relieving sutures, there are three main options used in surgery, the near far far near pattern, the vertical mattress pattern, and the horizontal mattress pattern. We're going to demonstrate those three patterns. The near far far near is the probably least of the tension relieving patterns, but the easiest to perform. And basically as long as you can say the near far far near pattern, you can provide and perform the near far far near pattern. So to do that, we'll take the first suture bite near, so we're about five millimeters or so from the cut edge, grab and stabilize the needle, use the needle to rotate that through. The next bite is far, so in this case we're going to go, want to go at least a centimeter away, and because we're using this translucent pad with markings, the first bite can be halfway between the marking and the incision, and the far bite will go from the incision all the way to the marking. So we've done a near and a far, now we're going to work far so we find the marking on the far side, always making sure to rotate the needle through the tissue, and then we're going to take a near bite which is going to be about halfway between the far bite and the skin edge. So you can appreciate with a near far far near, all of the suture lines are in line with each other, they all come together. We close these with a square knot, typically, in some cases a surgeon's knot, depending upon how much tension there is. So to perform a surgeon's throw, all we have to do is go around, put the needle holder in the center, go around twice, and then grab the suture. And the surgeon's throw, because we've gone around twice, has more friction. Pull that together, and you notice how it doesn't slip at all. Put the needle holder back in the middle, around one time, Tighten that down. Be careful now because if you tighten too much, it will get too snug and strangulate the tissue. Needle holder back in the middle, around, grab the edge. For the third throw, a fourth throw, and because we put a square or a surgeon's throw the first time, we actually have to do five throws because the first one doesn't actually count in the knot security. So the benefit of the near, far, far near is that it is all in line and everything is done forehand. So moving our hand forward, which is more accurate than backhanding. The vertical mattress is the next strongest intention of leaving. And similarly, you start near on the vertical mattress. So you start close. Bring this through and then again close on the near side, pull the extra suture through, and then, then we backhand. So the second throws for the vertical mattress are to go backwards. So again, we're using the holes in the pad for our far bites. So you can appreciate that the vertical mattress now, as like the near far far near, is all in line with itself so, so that it's straight across the incision, but now the knot is tied on this side. So the difference is we've got greater amount of tissue here that can distribute tension than the two bites on the near far far near. We're going to again do a surgeon's throw. So we come around this twice, grab the end, Tighten down, make sure it stays flat, pull that together, and you can appreciate that when we tighten the vertical mattress, the skin everts or comes out. It opposes nicely with the near, far, far, near, and it everts with the vertical mattress. The needle holder back in the middle because we're doing square knots now for the next four throws. Tighten that down, back in the middle. Tighten that down, back in the middle. Tighten that down and then one more to have a five throw knot. The first one is the surgeon's throw, the last four were square knots. And again, we're gonna cut the end of this at about a centimeter. So these two are very similar in that they align this way perpendicular to the incision. Uh, the near, far, far, near opposes. The vertical mattress everts. The horizontal mattress pattern is similar to the vertical in that the first part of the mattress pattern is perpendicular, uh, four-handed. So we come forward in accomplishing that. 
pull the extra suture through. Similarly forward on the near side, bringing that through and we're using the holes now to give us his landmarks. Then the second part is backhanded, but instead of going in line with the first part, we move about a centimeter along the incision line. So here we are backhanding. And you can appreciate now that similar to the vertical mattress, when we tie this, it will evert the tissue. But the tension relieving is very strong because it's coming across the skin here, which takes a lot of tension away. The problem is the blood supply is also coming from this angle and it can also remove some of the blood supply. So we put the needle holders between the suture long end and the short end around twice to do a surgeon's throw because of the tension. Tighten that down and you can see how the skin everts. So you have to be very careful not to do that needle holder back in the middle and again we have to do four square throws on top of our surgeon's throw in order to secure this knot. And we cut these at about a centimeter. If you look at these three sutures, the mattress sutures which are more effective in relieving tension also evert and that can become a challenge. The near, far, far, near, it doesn't do quite as good a job relieving tension, but it opposes. This happens to be my favorite tension relieving pattern, but sometimes we need to use these others based upon the amount of tension that we're facing.